Unfortunately, the audio didn't record, so you have to put up with my dodgy voiceover. The buffer tank's in now, and we've got expansion vessels 1 and 2 all plumbed up and in place. Plenty of bits and pieces everywhere, pressure gauge. You can see, I think that valent box is for the Wi-Fi adapter. And here we've got the heating circulation pump plumbed in. This is all 28 mil pipe work in and out of the buffer tank and I'm just kind of trying to show you the route that it takes and uh, that's the diverter valve there and this is where it connects into the existing heating circuit so plenty of work on day six that they've managed to achieve in that cupboard and the electrician stayed a couple of hours late after to get things wrapped up. So we've got some sort of vent discharge pipe here that they've brought down and terminated there and that was shielded. neatened up a few bits and pieces there two valve tops I thought they looked like they're the top of isolator valves right so we've got here antifreeze valves that arrived and were fitted today there's one and there's the second one plenty more of the lagging to go to get that all wrapped up and uh, that looks like the external weather temperature sensor making some significant progress on the trunk in today you can see they've mitered up that corner there and uh, so just a test fit for now and uh, you can see that one continuous piece across the top there and uh, see a little bit of finishing work that needs doing mitered a little top cap there and then a nice continued straight run down so it's coming together with those little kind of finishing touches now 